Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is React Full Tutorial Series for Absolute Beginners. In the last episode, we covered about the built-in scripts that are available as part of the package.json in the Create React app. Whenever you're working with the React application or any other UI framework, say Vue or Angular, you will need some kind of a UI framework to work with. That can be any UI framework like say Material UI, it can be Bootstrap, it can be Semantic UI, it can be Tailwind, it can be any UI framework. As part of this particular project that we'll be building which is a credit card bank, we'll be using Bootstrap framework. I'm going to show you how to install and how to use Bootstrap in our application. The same logic would more or less apply to any other UI framework that you want to work with. That being said, let's get started. This is part six of the series. If you have missed out on the first five parts, I'll request you to kindly go through them. You will have continuity and you will be able to master it, react with me. All right, so today we are learning how to install Bootstrap. Uh, like I said, you can work with any UI framework of your choice. It can be Bootstrap, Material UI, Tailwind, Semantic UI, etc. All right, so I am going to show you example with Bootstrap, but the same logic would apply to any other library. The first logic that I'll show you is the CDN network. Okay, so CDN networks are nothing but content delivery network, which means you will be given a link that you can directly embed into our application and start using it. So if you go into Google and say Bootstrap CDN, you would get some CDN links like this. Okay this link you see J CS and JS link so you can just copy them and include them in the index.html inside the public folder you would add them here okay so if you want to copy this copy the link add it right here and that's how you include using CDN okay but the problem with this uh, method is that you don't have control on it which means Tomorrow, let's say some version changes or that application goes down or if it's not available, then your application also goes down with it, right? So that's why I always recommend the second approach, which is installing it in our project as a dependency, okay? So we can install it using npm install bootstrap. So go to the project folder and type the command npm install bootstrap. That's the command you would run. Now you will see a message which says installed successfully. That's good. Close these. So this is episode six. Six installing bootstrap. Okay. So I showed you the first way, which is CDN, which is nothing but copy paste, copy and paste the URL into index.html file again this is not recommended okay not recommended because if like I said tomorrow if that URL goes down or something changes new version comes in you are bound to have some discrepancy the next way is to install it as a dependency okay as a dependency package in the local so we will run the command npm install bootstrap this will install bootstrap in our local you can see package.json got updated and it here it says package bootstrap 5.3.1 that's the version that is installed when we ran this command all right so our package.json json is updated with the latest module as dependency Okay, so that's first check. Then there is still work. We have just installed Bootstrap, but we need to let our application know to use it. So what we will do is go to source app index.js. Okay, now go to index.js file and import the Bootstrap as eh, Bootstrap.css and Bootstrap. JS into the file okay we need to do that part in order to make it work 
so let's clear this here so we have installed let's go to index.js and here you will write the import you are telling what to import bootstrap slash dist slash css slash dot css so that's how you will import the css all right now same way you can import the js also but i'm going to show you first with css so type the command npm start it's starting the development so it started the application how do i know whether it is working i'll go to app js it to the header component i will add a class and i'll say bg hyphen primary that's one of the utility classes in bootstrap so add it to header don't worry too much about it now just understand you have to add it just add it and you should see the blue color if you see the blue color that means it's reading the background primary color from bootstrap that means it's installed successfully and it's good to start working okay make a header add the class name that's all you do don't worry about understanding don't worry about too much about what is app js why are we changing it today you just do it to make sure that you have bootstrap installed because from next episode onwards is when we will start actually building our jsx and then components and so on all right i hope it's clear i hope you have reached so far in getting bootstrap installed in the project and it's all good to start working okay in the next episode i'll cover a complete guide for jsx uh, what is jsx how do you write with variable with functions etc that should help you st get started with react i hope you are enjoying this series i hope you are learning please do like share and subscribe to my channel continue your learning in this series with me see you in the next episode thank you